So what are happy hormones? We all want a quick fix. I want to feel better than I do now. I want to eat healthy food, get fitter. I want to make a difference and I want to spend happy time with friends and family. So what's the answer? Take some action is the answer. One step at a time. If we do a little bit of everything that we want to do, we will start to release our happy hormones that are so good for us. And it will also bring into balance the ones that put our immune systems under pressure. So often we want something, but only from a safe distance. So we don't take action because it feels like it might be a bit too much, too daunting, too daring, too scary. I'm guilty of this too. And as soon as I get over myself, I think to myself, what was that all about? Our mind sees change as a threat, and that's why we are scared. Scared of making a mistake, or scared of failing. And then what will everybody think? When we take that first step of action, just to toe in the water, that's all. We can be daring enough to leave our comfort zone, to get curious about what we can do, see what's possible. And if we can get out of our safety zone and get going, we can start to activate our happy hormones. So what are those happy hormones? We can hack our happy hormones in a number of ways. Food, exercise, having a good laugh, meditating and having a treatment like Bowen. Obviously, because that's a treatment that I offer. And once we are aware of our happy hormones and how to trigger them, we can activate them, making us happier, losing our stress and going after our goals. Our happy hormones are dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin and endorphins. Can you imagine being told that it's good to eat chocolate in order to produce dopamine? Wow! I think we need to be a bit cautious here as milk chocolate might not agree with your microbiome. So instead go for dark chocolate. That's my experience anyway. And then on the serious side we need to eat protein. And because our gut and brain are linked, we need to eat probiotics to improve our mood. The feel-good or reward chemical, dopamine, is also released when we exercise. So find what exercise suits you, that you enjoy, and activate your dopamine. Do you get a good night's sleep, as when it's time to wake up in the morning, the brain is flooded with dopamine. Listening to music that you love is another way of releasing dopamine. I like dancing around like an idiot listening to the music of my choice. In private, of course. We also get little dopamine hits from checking items off a to-do list. I have to own up to, do, of to doing this often. And meditation is another good way of releasing dopamine. Research has found a good increase in dopamine after meditation, as opposed to just resting quietly. And lastly, some dopamine boosting sunshine, it will also improve your mood. And now on to oxytocin. <clears throat> There's an overlap in what these chemicals can do, so forgive me for repeating myself. Oxytocin is the bonding molecule which is linked to hugs and touch. So here comes the repeat bit. Hugs, 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 long and caring ones. Try yoga or walking in nature. Listen to music or make your own like I do when I dance around like an idiot. Get a treatment. Bowen, of course. Tell someone how much you care. This is such a nice thing to do. And I think you should do it as often as, as you can. It feels good for you and for the other person. Spend time with your friends. 
When we are around other people, especially in close contact, it gives us a feeling of safety and belonging and calmness. And of course, meditate. And make your conversations count. That's important. Make them deep ones. And now serotonin. It makes, it helps make us uh, make choices and is helped along by exercise, meditation, putting our bodies in the sunlight, getting a treatment, being with friends and family and eating unprocessed wholesome food. I did warn you about the overlap. At least you can trigger more than one of these happy hormones by doing much the same thing. All good news. And lastly, endorphins, the pain relief hormone that also increases our feelings of well-being when exercising, eating chilies and dark chocolate, meditating and having a good laugh with friends and family. So it's not about a quick fix, but it is about knowing how to find your triggers for motivation, well-being, by familiarizing yourself with your happy hormones.